Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm making some taco chicken. I have two chicken breasts, pack of taco seasoning, olive oil spray, and a fourth cup of water. So first I'm going to add my taco seasoning. All right guys, so I got my pack of taco seasoning right here. I'm just going to mix it around. Wish I had my tongs, but they broke, so I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to spray my pan. Oh, and I forgot my um, my um salsa to a jar of salsa is supposed to go in here so get that out in a minute oh you know what let me go in and put my water in here water get all that goodness up in there All in the crevices, the creases, season it real good. So you're gonna have water in the pot, so the season is gonna come off anyway. So not all of it, but you know the majority of it. So let me pour the last little bit of water I have in here, so I can get my seasoning out. I don't like any seasoning left. Alright, put the rest of my taco right in there. Alright, and then let me get my jar of salsa. Alright, so I have my thick and chunky salsa. Alright, so that's how it looks so far. Just going to put that on in there like so. All right. Put my lid on. Put the venting. And let's see what we're going to set it to. So I'm going to put on the meat. I'm going to do about 15 minutes. Should be good. A little on high. All right, and we'll be back. All right, so the pressure cooker is done. Ooh, my bad, y'all. Yeah, chicken look good. All right, so next I'm going to shred up the chicken. Matter of fact, let me get my little chopper thing. All right, let's see if this works. Um, I don't want it up in there. Don't love some, some. Not the way I want it to. These chicken breasts, they were thick. There we go. Now I got this from Dollar Tree, y'all. So, and it works good. You can do it with two forks, but I just, I don't like the way it sounds on the metal. So, I use this. Alright, so I'm going to finish chopping this up a little bit more. And then I'm going to show you how I plate it. Alright guys, so I got it all chopped up the way I want it. So now I'm going to put it together. All right, guys, so this is how it is. I got the little taco bells. Um, I got white rice. I usually do yellow, but sometimes I can be a little salty. Black beans, uh, my chicken, scallions, and some cheese. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you make it, let me know how you like it. See you next time. 
Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am making one pot taco spaghetti. So I'm going to have Taylor, um, if you can pour in, and like I said, I always double my recipes. So Taylor, get the fried, the fire roasted diced tomatoes. I have two pounds of um, ground turkey. You know, I use ground turkey. I don't really do ground beef like that. All right. And then one can of green chilies. All right. And then one cup of water. And then two of the 32 ounce um, boxes of the beef broth. Mm -hmm. so good. Yeah. I double my recipe because I like to have leftovers for the next day, especially if I know I have a lot going on. So I try to make a big meal. And then pack of taco seasoning you can put that on in there all right and if you give that a good stir for me I clean my stove All right, and then we're going to add some spaghetti noodles. All right, so we'll add the spaghetti noodles. Let's break them in half. And this is going to cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. Just the last or a little bit more. All right, so I'm going to let that cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. So this is the finished taco spaghetti. You just top it with some Kobe Jack. Side salad, garlic bread. Well, you don't even eat garlic bread, just like a side salad. All right, we see you next time.